So Jared, you began your career at Oklahoma State and then transferred to Utah State. What originally made you choose Oklahoma State? Um, it was close to home. Uh, they had a good program. Uh, thought I would fit in good there, so uh, that's why I made that's why I made the decision to go there. Okay, and then why? What made you transfer? Uh, just wanted a bigger opportunity, uh, somewhere where I could be a um, dominant player, and uh, I felt like Utah State was the place for me. And what? Uh, what? Expand on that. What made you choose Utah State? Um, I like the system. Uh, it's through the big guys, so uh, I wanted to go somewhere where I can get the ball. And I'm here. Okay. And then, how do you like playing for Coach Morrow? That was pretty good. Um, he's a tough coach to play for, but I think it's um, he's tough in a positive way. Uh, he's helping me a lot. And what's the uh, most important thing you've learned from him so far? How hard he got to play. Okay, and uh, Utah State was picked first in the WAC preseason poll, and uh, so far we have the best record. What are uh, what are the team's goals so far, and uh, how are they doing at meeting those goals? Um, just to sustain that, um, not to get too big headed because we got picked to win. Just go out and compete every night and play hard. And just let the rest take care of itself. Okay, and you are uh, high school teammates with Brock Keith Payne, who was a uh, All Conference point guard here. What? Uh, makes uh, him a good player on the court? Uh, he can get to the basket. Uh, he got a good mid-range. Um, he get other guys involved. He's a pretty solid player. And uh, what makes him, uh, what does he like off the court? Oh, he's pretty cool, cool guy. Um, we hang out all the time. He's just somebody I can relate to, and he's a pretty cool guy. And uh, he's playing overseas now. How often do you uh, keep in touch? Uh, I haven't talked to him in a while. I heard he's doing pretty good. Okay, and you're, uh, you know, you had never played, had a double double or anything, and you've now had four. What, um, how have you been able to improve so far over that? Um, just the summer, just taking advantage and working hard, um, just staying consistent with my workouts and believing in myself. And uh, how are you able to balance the offense and defense, trying doing well on both ends? Um, it's a two-sided game. I mean, you got to play both sides of the court. Can be one dimensional, so just take pride in playing defense and offense. Okay, uh, and then what are your uh, goals after basketball? I uh, want to be an ESPN analyst. Uh, it's not a bad job. And uh, what is your current major? Um, sports psychology. And how's that going for you? It's going pretty good. What are your uh, favorite classes? Um, let's see, motor learning. Um, it's a pretty active class. Um, where we just learn the different techniques of uh, every sport and how to deal with different players and mentally and physically playing the sport. So it's a pretty cool class. And then uh, what is your favorite thing about Utah State, like away from basketball? Uh, the people here are really, really nice. They, uh, they're always looking out, making sure we're good. So I appreciate that a lot, too. And uh, what's your favorite eggy tradition here? Eggy tradition. Uh, spectrum. Uh, yeah, I got to say, Spectrum is a pretty known place, so uh, I like it a lot. Okay, anything else?